Are you looking for a great new football manager save and you want to rebuild a fallen giant? Then this video is perfect for you. I'll be going through the top five rebuilds you can do in Football Manager 2024 right now. Coming in at number five is Spanish side Malaga. They have had a massive fall from grace in recent years. They've had some absolute ballers play for their club. Roque Santa Cruz, Carlos Khamenei, Isco, Manuel Pellegrini was a once a legendary manager at the club as well. They've had players like Wellington, Duda, and so many more. Julio Baptista, Dario Silva, Albert Luque. If you don't know about Albert Luque, he was a very good striker in the early 2000s. Also at Deportivo, La Coruña as well. They've had great goalkeepers in Willy Caballero as well, but they now find themselves languishing in the Spanish third division. They were founded in 1948. This is their 75th season in Football Manager 2024. So you're taking over in a landmark season. They've got a big stadium at 30,000. It's in good condition. And their squad is fairly decent for the challenge that poses you here. They've got some decent players in Lucas Sangali. The ball winning midfield player has got great stats for the Spanish third division and will be very, very good once you get promoted to the Spanish second division as well. That has to be the short term aim for this save is to get back in the Spanish second division and try and work in your way back into La Liga at some point. And they've got Robert Fernandez is a great striker as well for the third division. Their squad actually is probably one of the best in the league. There's some very, very good players and they're young as well. So it's a squad that you can develop with you as your save develops. From a financial perspective, they've got money in the bank. £2 million for a third division Spanish side is very, very good. But the one thing to know about Malaga is that they do have some debt. So there is some net debt there, but it's nothing really to worry about. Something you could quite easily wipe off once you get to the Spanish second division. Or once you're in La Liga, you'll completely wipe it out. And you'll be ready to push Malaga back into Champions League semi-finals like they did all those years ago with that legendary team. Coming in at number four is Everton. They have been in the news recently for some FFP violations and that has led to a 10-point deduction in the Premier League for this season. And we know a 10-point deduction in the Premier League is very, very tough to turn around. Your aim for this season should really just about be to stay up. I mean, you should do as well. Everton's squad is more than good enough to stay up in the Premier League. Quality players like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who is very good on Football Manager. He might not be the striker everyone thinks he's in real life, but on Football Manager, he scores goals. He tends to score against me all the time. He's got great stats. He's worth a lot of money as well. Other players like Jordan Pickford is solid in goal. He's a good goalkeeper for Premier League clubs. He'll do well for you until you decide to buy someone else. Beto is a Football Manager legend as well. So if Calvert-Lewin is injured, Beto is your man. This guy is a bags man. He scores so many goals on Football Manager. One of FM23's best strikers. Excited to see him at Everton, as well as on loan winger Arne Danjuma, who was on loan at Tottenham last season, didn't really play very much, but is a quality baller on loan from Villarreal. Everton's squad will push you out of that relegation zone for sure. In terms of financial perspective, there's a lot of money in the bank, but it's one of the biggest net debts I've ever seen on Football Manager, £862 million. But being in the Premier League, you're going to be able to pay that off at some point. It's going to take you a long, long time, but we know money in the Premier League is no issue and Everton, they do have some great facilities as well. They've had some great players come through their youth academy in the past. They've had players like Wayne Rooney come through. They've got superb training facilities, superb youth facilities, excellent youth recruitment. So you know you're going to get new gens through the academy. And Scouse ballers are always very, very good. Are you excited to take on the challenge of rebuilding Everton? At third place, we have Italian cult hero side Palmer. They have had some of the best teams I've ever seen in the early 90s. They've had players like Fabio Cannavaro, Aspria, Hernan Crespo, Lilian Turam, Thomas Brolin, just to name a few of the legends that have played for this football club. Veron as well, I believe at some stage. I could be wrong about Veron, but I do vaguely remember him playing for them. They had some great players in any case, but they find themselves now languishing in Serie B. They've had great players like Gigi Buffon, in the team as well, who has only recently just retired from the club. But their squad at the moment is fairly decent and you should be looking to get back to Serie A in your first season in charge of the club. One of their best players is young Australian centre-back Alessandro Sicati. He's very good for Serie B. He will be go on to be one of the best players in your save and one of the best young ballers out of Australia. I think they've probably 
ever seen. Now, that is some higher praise. Dennis Mann is another player that's been touted by many for many a years to go on and kick on. He came in from FCSB, or formerly known as Stauer Bucharest. He's a great Romanian player. He's got a great load of talent, and he's a great right winger for the Serie B side. They've also got Antonio Cholak. Rangers fans might remember him. He had a decent season last season with 14 goals in 25 games for them. He's going to be a top Serie B striker and will hopefully fire the goals in that you need to push Palmer forward. Their team and their finances are fairly decent. They've got £13 million in the bank, which is no mean feat for a Serie B team. So you've got some sort of financial stability there. And there's only a small amount of debt, which is very good to see from Palmer because that's one of the reasons why all those years ago the club were relegated and had to sell all of their best players. They were very badly run like most Italian teams in the 90s and early 2000s and racked up a huge amount of debt. But with only £4 million worth of debt, you'll quite quickly pay that off in Serie A. And once you start pushing Palmer all the way back to challenging for Scudettos and for European competitions as well because they had a great run in Europe in the early 90s with that team of Turam and Co. Can you bring that sort of vibe back to the Italian side? Can you bring Palmer back to competing with teams like Juventus, Inter and AC on a regular basis? Second place goes to Hertha Berlin in Germany. One of Germany's oldest clubs, Nick's name's The Old Lady, founded in 1892. They have been a club around for a very, very long time and most of that time has been spent in the Bundesliga, but now they are back in Bundesliga 2. They've had some good players play for them in real life. Kevin Prince, Boateng, Jerome Boateng, he was a great centre-back back in the day. Pau Dardai, player and manager, and Gabor Kiraya, the goalkeeper that wears tracksuit bottoms who played for Crystal Palace. He was actually a decent goalkeeper. I mean, the tracksuit bottoms don't do many justice, but their squad for this level, I think is very, very good, and they've got one of the best young players in the league, in my opinion, Morten Dardai, the German-Hungarian centre-back, has played 41 games already at the age of 21 and is looking like a solid DM or central defender for the Bundesliga already. He's going to be class. He's got bags and bags of potential. He'd be one of the best young centre-backs on the game, in my opinion. They've got a good striker in Harris Tabakovic. The Swiss guy, former under-21 international, is a big target forward. And we know when target forwards are overpowered on this game. He was at Austria Vienna last season, scored 18 goals in 30. Will definitely get goals in the Bundesliga too if you can play the right sort of tactic to get the best out of him. And at centre-back as well, to partner Dardai, you've got Mark Oliver Kempf. Another good centre-back, particularly at Bundesliga 2 level. The former Stuttgart man, now at Hertha Berlin, is having an unbelievable time with them. Played 43 games already as well, so he's got a solid partnership with Dardai already. You should be looking to win Bundesliga 2 in your first season with this squad. In terms of the finances as well, well, they're not the best-run club. They did have a lot of American investment. They even had Jurgen Klingsmann as manager for not a very long time, and then he got the sack. £5 million in the bank, but a big, huge net debt of £76 million, and you're going to have to start paying that back £1.3 million a month at a time. So that is a lot of months that you have to pay that back for. You really need to get back in the Bundesliga you're going to have to sell your top talents. You're going to have to try and push into Europe to keep yourself afloat. It is going to be tough. You're going to have to wheel and deal. You're going to have to bring out your inner Harry Redknapp. And you're really going to have to excel if you want to take on the Hertford Berlin Challenge. At number one is a club that I love to manage and a club that was big in the 80s. Aberdeen are still a big club up in Scotland and they had legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson win them a European trophy before he moved on to Manchester United and achieved all of the things that he achieved there. 13 Premier League titles, all of that good stuff. They've had Gordon Strachan there as a player. They've had some other great players as well and should be one of Scotland's biggest, biggest clubs. And they are in their own right, overshadowed more recently by Celtic and Rangers. But they've got some good players in their squad to kick off this save. They've got Duke who is very, very good. He is a Cape Verdean international with plenty of plays. He can play on the left. He can play up front. And at the SPL level, this guy is absolutely cracked. He's going to terrorize teams from the start to the finish. And you've got Bojan Miofsky, who's been speaking about in the press in real life that Celtic might be buying him. He is a goal scorer at this level. 16 goals in 37 games. The North Macedonian international is a quality striker for the SPL and is most likely will be poached by bigger clubs. If not Celtic, maybe Rangers. 
They've also got Leighton Clarkson. And if you know about Leighton Clarkson, this young lad is a baller. The former Liverpool Academy graduate is unbelievable in the SPL. I always go for him. He's always very, very good. He's one of those players you always end up thinking, could he do it at a higher level? Will we see him at a top club in real life? And we most likely will. He's got a lot of talent and he's going to be one of your go-to players for this Aberdeen side. Other players you can look at as well is Esther Sokla, who is a Slovenian striker. He's going to come in on the cheap. He could be a backup player for Miofsky. He, again, this guy could score goals. He's got a lot of talent for the SPL, and he could help push Aberdeen forward. In terms of their finances, £2.86 million in the bank is a lot for Scottish clubs, and not to be in too much debt as well is the best thing that you can get out of this club. Now, it's not the most difficult team to rebuild, I will give you that, but the challenge long-term is one of the best ones that you can do. You've got two ways of doing this. You could call this the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge. You start off at Aberdeen, you win a European trophy with them, you win the SPL, you win all you can in Scotland, then you move on to Manchester United and repeat what Alex Ferguson did there. Or you could just go with the aim of making Aberdeen the biggest and best club in Scotland by winning more league titles than Celtic and Rangers, which will take you a long time, or just overtaking Celtic and Rangers and winning a European trophy as well. This could be an unbelievable challenge and a great one to start and a great team as well. Big up Aberdeen. And there it is, the top five clubs to rebuild in Football Manager 2024. And if you like this type of videos, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'm sure I will see you again on another Football Manager video.